Hi everyone, Petal is Less here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm coming on today to share with you guys a starburst mirror that I'm going to make. So let's get into the items that we'll be using for this DIY. We have this round mirror here from the Dollar Tree. They're large round mirrors, which is so nice. Here are the numbers on the back for anyone who wants to see the numbers. I hope you guys can see that. Because some of you have been requesting the numbers, so I hope you can see it clearly. <laughs> and we also have some silver spoons here. Silver plastic spoons, 24 come in the pack. And we have the small and even smaller gems you can get from Walmart or even Michaels. Sell those size gems. And we have these sticks here, which I've already spray painted from a different DIY that I was going to do, but I didn't use them. But they're the little... um. Stewer sticks that you use for barbecue and stuff like that to make um, shish kebabs, I think it is, yeah. <laughs> and we have this um, metallic spray paint here from Walmart. This one is very nice. It's nice and shiny. And we have our glue gun. Oh yeah, and we have our E6000 here that we'll be using also. And I'll be hanging up the picture with these command strips. I, use, I like to use the large command strips and I get them from Walmart. All right, everyone, let's get started. <laughs> okay, everyone, we've spray painted the frame of the mirror silver. And I was going to use the silver spoons, but I changed my mind. And <laughs> I'm going to be using the um, crushed glass pieces instead. So we're going to take our Mod Podge that we have here. And also our crushed glass pieces we'll be using those which I'll leave a link to a video below on how you can make your own crushed glass if you guys didn't see that video so we're just gonna place the Mod Podge everywhere and then just sprinkle our broken pieces on going right around the circle And once the Mod Podge has dried, we're just going to go back over it with two more coats of Mod Podge. And that seals in the um, broken pieces and nothing will fly off, nothing completely. And then we're going to add some glitter going right around. Just a small amount of glitter you're going to sprinkle on it. And now to the back of the mirror, we're going to add our sticks. We're just going to glue them on. Now you can measure if you want and glue it on. I'm just, I'm just doing it. Uh, freehand <laughs> and placing them down going all the way around the large sticks we're gonna put down first using both the hot glue gun and the E6000 and now in the spaces that are left we're just gonna add the smaller sticks same method with the E6000 and the glue gun going all the way around and now we're going to add some gems onto the larger, the thicker sticks. We're going to add the small gems going all the way around on all the large sticks. And now for the small gems, the tiny, tiny gems, we'll be going on the small sticks all the way around also. Now we're going to glue the mirror back onto the board here with the E6000 and some of the glue stick, the glue gun, sorry. Just place the mirror in the center. Then we're going to put the facing back on and we're going to turn it upside down and place it back inside the mirror and then I'm going to glue right where the, the cardboard meets the frame of the mirror. Just add some glue gun going all the way around for extra support just to make sure it's sealed in. 
And I got a piece of cardboard and cut out um, a round circle and I'm going to place it on the back of the, the mirror so I can have support to hang it up. Place my command strips on that. I'm going to use the E6000 and the glue gun and then just glue the piece of cardboard onto the back. And here's our finished look you guys. Our starburst mirror, our blinked out starburst mirror. I think it looks very nice. <laughs> It was a nice and fun and easy DIY to do with a starburst mirror. Some people call it sunburst mirror, starburst mirror, uh, whichever you prefer is fine. <laughs> I just thought it was a nice little easy DIY to do, to hang anywhere in your home that you would like. And this is where I'm hanging it. And I think it looks very nice on the wall. Hi everyone! <laughs> How are you guys doing? I'm doing good because today is my birthday <laughs> yeah today January the 16th is my birthday everyone anyways <clears throat> I'm going to have a giveaway yeah it's my birthday giveaway yep this one is my birthday giveaway <laughs> yeah so I'm gonna have um two winners this time and okay let's see it's gonna run from today January the 16th until January the 27th Saturday January the 27th and I will announce the winner on Sunday January the 28th yeah all right so from today January the 16th my b-day <laughs> Until January the 27th and I announced the winner on the 28th okay to enter into this giveaway let me see you have to leave a comment saying birthday girl yeah leave a comment saying birthday girl and if you want to leave anything else that's fine too <laughs> but leave a comment saying birthday girl yeah and um you have to be subscribed to my channel uh, you have to like this video and um, yeah that's it subscribe to my, be, be my be a subscriber of mine and like my video and say birthday girl yeah okay I'd like to address something that happened in my last giveaway that I had on December in December for the Christmas giveaway now I think I had about 11 or 12 winners for that giveaway and um, when I chose the winners um, under that video I got a lot of comments about um, it wasn't fair because people who had um, YouTube channels were winners and that's not fair I shouldn't do that basically that's what the comments were saying and um, I choose my winners through YouTube random comment picker that's what I use to choose my winners. If you've noticed that those videos that I put out with the winners, I don't respond to your comment. I just like your comment or heart your comment because I don't want my comment, I mean my giveaway videos, I don't want my comment to be in there to, to mix up the picking of the names. So I use a random picker and it doesn't matter if you have a channel or not. If you enter my contest, you qualify. Once you do the rules I state, you qualify to be in my giveaway. Now, I don't choose the winners. I told you I pick it through random.com. The YouTube random picker, I mean. I pick it through that. Whatever name they give me, that's who I show as my winner. You know, and um, I don't know how much more fair I can be but that. You know. <laughs> um, this is my channel. And I do choose my winners the way I want to. I choose to pick them that way. It wouldn't be fair if you won and I put your name back and chose somebody else. That, I don't think that's fair. That's not right. And if I was to choose people who I just wanted to choose, I wouldn't bother have a giveaway. I would just contact the person and say, give me your name and address. I'm going to mail you a package. That's what I would do. I wouldn't put up a giveaway for everybody to enter and then choose who I want to choose. That's not, no, that's not me. <laughs> I'm not like that. Um, 
So like I said, I do it through the YouTube picker. I cannot be no more fair than that. And everybody who enters my contest, channel or not channel, you are qualified to win. And if you do win, I'm sending you your package. You know, if YouTube picks your name to say you won, I'm sending you a package. And I can't be no more fairer than that. I'm sorry for who doesn't like that. But <laughs> like I said, it's my channel and that's how I choose to run my giveaway. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah, so <laughs> anyways, <laughs> let's get into the prizes that we'll be having for this giveaway. As usual, we have our bling gems, <laughs> five packs of these, yeah, our bling gems that we have from Dollarama, five packs of these will be in the package, and if you saw my haul video, you see that I showed you guys these gems at the end, and I told you I bought them for my giveaway, yeah, so in this giveaway there will be two packs of these gems here. And I'm also going to add a pack of this vase filler. I used it um, in my wedding video, the bottom of the mirrored boxes. This is what I use with glitter. And then I have this um, rose gold bling wrap. Yeah, these are all items from Dollarama. So in the giveaway, there'll be that, this, this, this. The two pack of the square gems. Well, I call them square. <laughs> I call them square. And then we have five packs of the round gems. Yeah, so this is the giveaway package for my birthday giveaway. And like I said, there'll be two winners. Okay, and remember, it's from today, January the 16th, my birthday. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> until January the 27th and I will put the winner video out on Jan Sunday January the 28th all right everyone don't forget you have to be a subscriber you have to like this video give it a thumbs up you know that's what the like is you give it a thumbs up the thumbs at the bottom press yes <laughs> so give it a thumbs up um, leave a comment saying birthday girl yeah, that's it. That's all you have to do to enter this contest. Yeah. And I will be choosing the winners through random picker. That's how I choose my winners. <laughs> all right, everyone. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on and seeing the DIY that I did today. And remember, as always, stay blessed from Petal is Bliss. Bye-bye, <laughs> everyone. Baby